What is going on, people? Day number 15 of the 31 Days Half October series that I'm doing on this channel. It's about halfway through the month. One more day and it will be. Um, for those of you who haven't checked out any of my other videos, go ahead and check them out right after this one, of course. Also, check out everybody else who's doing some kind of 31 days. I know a lot of people are doing it and calling it something different. 31 days of Halloween, 31 days of horror. There's a whole bunch of people doing something like this. So check it out. I got a whole bunch of links in the description. So if you don't see a movie that you, you know, want to check out on my channel, definitely check out someone else's because you never know. You'll find something there. Anyway, I do it a little bit different. I do it more independent stuff and I try to do them in alphabetical order. So today the letter is M and I actually got two for you. I got a full length and then I got a short that I was sent over by the writer, director, pretty much he does a little bit of everything. Uh, it's put out by, uh, let me get it, Chivi's Films. Probably horribly butchered that, but I'll leave the link to where you can purchase this stuff and check out the uh, the website as well. But anyway, like I said, one is a short and one is a full length. Uh, the full length is called Murder for Pleasure, and the short is called uh, Mutilation Massacre. So anyway, I'll go Murder for Pleasure first. Uh, it is directed and written by Derek Brash. Again, hopefully I said that right. It stars Nick Bender, Andrea Izazetto, and Brian uh, Brosco. Probably butchered those names, uh, among many others. So pretty much what this is, it's... I don't want to call him a vigilante killer, but you can say the main character is a vigilante killer. Anyway, you find out that the main character, he might have had a... Well, the main character's name is Victor, and you might say that he had a pretty, pretty shitty thing happen to him in his childhood, which might have knocked a few screws loose in his head, and pretty much what he does is, you know, he lives a normal life, he, you know, works and talks to people and stuff. Well, let's just say by the end of the night, he pretty much ends up, you know, taking care of certain people, and these certain people are more on the evil side. He finds and, and kind of checks people out and figures out that they have something going on that maybe not a lot of people know. So he goes for different people that, you know, might have been a rapist or a, um, you know, doing something wrong, I guess you want to call it. So throughout the movie, uh, it is rather long, and you get a lot of uh, a lot of kills in this movie. And the thing I really do like is the practical effects. I mean, you know, it's a lower budget movie, so I, you know, it's it's you're not gonna get the full out like CGI looking effects, but the practical effects definitely look in my eyes when when I watch movies, they definitely look more real, more realistic. And I squirm more when I see stuff like that because some of the, some of the times with the CGI stuff, you kind of know that it's fake and you're like, eh. Uh, but to tell you the truth, for uh, you know, with lower budget movies too, you gotta you gotta worry about because the thing is, sometimes you'll get really good acting and the look of the movie won't be right, or you'll get a really good look to the movie, but the acting might not be spot on. This worked together perfectly because the sound was good. That's one of the things, too, that I noticed with um, lower budget movies. The sound and might be off, or like I said, the, the look of it might be off. They all kind of meshed into one another. It's not the greatest 4K and whatever, but it works for what it is. Uh, again, the, the plot line is pretty much, you know, he ends up finding these evil people and making sure that they don't do anything again to kind of feed his own, like, lust, I guess you would call it. Again, it's called Murder for Pleasure. So along the lines of, you know, he's doing what he likes to do. He wants to do it. And of course, like I said, it's almost like a vigilante thing because he's kind of doing it to people that kind of deserve it. You know, he's taking the law into his own hands and kind of... Uh, Kind of getting his own rocks off at the exact same time. So I say definitely check out Murder for Pleasure if you're into the, you know, just straight up killing and, and stuff like that. I, uh, again, 
definitely enjoyed it. I was didn't know what I was walking into until I watched it. And again, for the practical effects, it's great and everything else. So check out Murder for Pleasure. Again, I'll leave the link to, again, I think it's Cheevies. Again, could be completely wrong but or, or on the pronunciation, but I'll leave the link to where you can uh, get movies like this. So the second movie, which is a short, uh, which I think eventually, you know, if, if they had to, could turn into a like a full-length movie. Uh, this movie, how long is it? Uh, let me see, 20 minutes. Uh, so anyway, this is written and directed again by Derek Brash. It stars Pamela Bender, uh, Joe... D. Barlotto and uh, Sarah Jane Cilias, among many others. So pretty much what this is, is you see, again, I'm, I'm going to try to cut this one to a limit because it is a short. You know, with, with the full lengths, I can go a little bit more into depth. This one I'm going to try to keep to a minimum because uh, it's only 20 minutes long. So pretty much what it is, is a guy has a girl pretty much tied to a tree. He's about to, what it looked like, kill her, and he's pretty much rattling off why he's about to do it. So I'll leave it at that because, again, it is a short and I don't want to give too much away. Uh, it kind of takes place and, and, and you figure out who this guy is because at first you're like, who is this? Why are they do? Why is he doing what he's doing? And throughout the short, you find out who, why he's doing it, what she did so wrong that, you know, made him do this. And like I said, throughout the whole thing, I'm like, okay, this definitely has the vibe to uh, itself that I could see it being a full-length um, feature. I mean, it probably have need a little bit more to it, maybe other stories along the line is that. But... You know, for what it was, I'm like, oh, this I, I could see this being maybe like an anthology kind of deal where uh, there's multiple stories like this or um, he himself turns into a vigilante killer or something like that. But with this short, it's more, okay, now I see where this guy's coming from and why he wants to uh, do what he's about to do. So again, definitely go ahead, check out uh, if you're looking for different things. Uh, this is a short, but it is put out on, uh, uh, you know, physical media. So this is Mutilation Massacre. And the other one, again, is Murder for Pleasure. So definitely check out both of these titles. There's a whole bunch of other movies that he sent over to me, which I will be checking out at some point in time. And if it's along the lines of that, I definitely would enjoy it. I think there's one, it's called, it seems like it's more, uh, uh, like, thriller like mind-bending type movie and there's a few other ones which i'll uh, eventually get into and will review at some point in time but um these two fit in with the m and the the whole um 31 days so definitely check out that stuff check him out i'll leave his uh name and again the link to his website so you can check out the rest of his stuff and indulge in that as well i'll see if there are trailers i when i was uh Looking at the movies, I really didn't find them, so I'll look again. Um, I usually like to put trailers and where you can purchase the movies in this as well. Also, check in the description for everybody else who's doing something along the lines of this. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you're enjoying this. Again, it is halfway through the month, so if you haven't checked out any other thing that I have done, check it out because you might find other movies to watch. And, you know, check out everybody else's channel. So, I guess until tomorrow, I'll see you guys. Don't forget to subscribe.